Hello, welcome to 13 Universal Learning Beyond Barriers, and of course, this is CIE A Level Biology, and we are all again on Advanced Practical Skills Series 3. Come on, guys, get your um, writing materials. Let's explore. Okay, so um, this is the first question we're looking at here. So J1 is a slide of a stained transverse section through a plant leaf. Usually, can be sent all right slide to be used to answer questions, all right? So it says draw a sharp plan diagram of the region of the leaf on J1 indicated by the shaded area in Fig 2.1. Use a sharp pencil. Emphasize you must use a sharp pencil. All right. So um we assume that this is J1. Okay, this is J1. Okay. Now this is the region of this J1 is supposed to draw. It must show the midrib here. So just draw from here. Okay, guys, they are giving instruction. They should draw this region. Which region? This region. So if you interpret this, so that means that if you interpret it correctly, um, it means that we are supposed to draw somewhere here. Okay, if this is our J1, of course it is in the right here. So, okay. So, um, our J1. So, we draw that region. Okay. You can see that region. This region. So, you should draw it. Okay. So, remember in plan diagram, we just draw only an uh, outline of tissues. Right. Cells that form a tissue. Right. So, come, come on now. Let's do it. But make sure that you draw it. Try it first. Try it first. Okay, pause this video and try it. So I'm going to draw this plan diagram. Um, my drawing tool is fantastic. Well, let me try it. Okay. It's fantastic. Okay. So this is the first layer. Um, I'm going to draw the first layer here. Okay. Which is the epidermis. Epidermis. Okay. After the epidemic, I'll draw the next one, which is um, for me. Well, I could decide to carve out right the outer, the the other outer part, um, just to have um, an overview, right? The other side, okay. Um, cover up the midrib, okay something like that outer part that give you an overview all right good so remember that that also has um a layer this layer here that is the lower epidermis okay so guys so this is not meant to touch um okay guys now let me draw the plan, the palisade here, which is somewhere here. Okay, that's the palisade. And then um, let me try to see if I get get something better. Okay, let me let me try and see if I can get something better. Yeah, just um, yeah, because it's not supposed to touch the lines are not supposed to touch. So this is lower epidemics yeah thin layer come on do not touch i warn you yeah so this is small but you know in exam make it big so guys now this is um the vascular bundle here uh, above the midrib here okay all right not very clear anyway, but you, have, you can see that we have tried to do this. So this is the first layer here, that this one. This is the second layer, all right? That is A. Layer A is this, guys, all right? Layer B is the first layer, and layer C is a spongy, but in that sponge you have vascular bond, okay? So um, the lines are not supposed to be wavy, okay? But this is the plan diagram of this. We have followed this, okay? 
based on what we can see here just outline of tissues guys lm tissues okay now this this layer here now is the lower epidermis okay but if you check you see that it has trichomes here can you see those small trichomes yeah we can add trichomes okay can add small trichomes okay small trichomes yeah a few of them a few of the trichomes yeah so hope you are drawing this few trichomes uh, trichomes are hair like structures okay yeah you can see that it's under trichome here good so yeah we are done with this now guys another question they can ask you that this is you know low plan that they can ask you to draw any of these cells they can ask you to draw like if you check here hmm? this is a vascular bundle you could be asked to draw any cell here okay in the vascular bundle okay let's draw this cell you see this these three cells now this you know they are touching each other okay they are touching each other there are three of them this this region okay this is what you could be asked to draw and of course if you want to draw that you draw the shape of the cell it's going to be big right um three of them so remember that each cell has a cell wall so you add the cell wall cell wall this is cell wall so cell wall yeah don't let the line touch yeah this is the first cell and this maybe this is representing okay if you're asked to draw a cell wall all right the cell above plan diagram okay um not above plan diagram above the vascular bundle okay you see these three cells here okay so um have another one here they are touching each other here let me clean this now clean it okay yeah come with me let's do this together okay yeah i hope you are trying it so we have something like this they are touching each other yeah so i have a Yeah, see a cell going like this. Yes, can see this goes like this. Okay, okay. So this is a cell wall of this. Okay, I'm trying to draw the cell wall of that one. Pardon my drawing tool. It's funny. Okay, yep. And there's another one here. They're touching each other. Okay. The other one somehow like this okay so you see these are cells you have to draw them large show their cell walls show whatever they are touching there must be three lines there because each of them has um watch this each of them has um can you see a cell wall so this is this cell, this cell, this cell, this part, this part here, okay? That part there, you can see that, okay? All right. So, um, yeah, this, this, this. So, you see, at the boundaries, you must show three lines, one, two, three, because each one has a layer, 
a cell wall this has a cell wall okay there's a cell wall it, it could be you could be asked to draw the vascular bond you can see it or just draw the one you could see you could be asked to draw cells from the palisade or the cell from this um epidemics okay you could be asked to say three cells touching three cells lining up on the epidemics okay so you could be asked to draw them so but we just drew this one okay the cells could be from palisade but just learn to identify where the cells are okay so this is high power plant diagram showing cells this is low power showing the outline of tissues so if you check this now this tissue another question that i ask you of course what are the things it has you know um specific features it has it has thick um epidemics large cells epidermal cells okay you can see that it, it is um a xerophytic leaf because it is called this cold leaf traps um humid air in the folded part so this leaf is folded humid air is trapped in the folded part and that reduces that actually reduces you know um the water potential right gradient okay and don't forget that it has trichomes the trichomes trap water vapor and also lowers water potential okay okay now this thick um large epidemic epidemic cells increases diffusion distance all right so these are the things you can mention okay so i'll let i'll ask you to compare this and another um photomicrograph of a leaf all right so let's go on guys so use one rule label line to identify the lower evidence you have to identify the lower one okay so these are the things you're supposed to mention when, when you're drawing okay um look at this okay five marks in drawing the plan diagram one minimum size a minimum size okay two correct section of the leaf drawn so you must show the correct section of the leaf the midrib area no cells because this is the the this is called the um, the low part and plant diagram it doesn't have cells okay the correct shape of the midrib like uh, we have shown there draw one large vascular bundle and large layer above in the midrib okay based on what you see and then the low epidemic you have to level it that's just five marks if you get all of this correct we get five marks okay oh look at this is it observe the vascular tissue in the midrib on then a section of the leaf select one large xylem vessel element and three adjacent smaller all right xylem vessel element each xylem vessel element must touch at least two other um xylem vessel make a large drawing of these four xylem vessel elements use one root level line and label to identify the lumen okay of the xylem vessel element guys just like what we did there okay so you just observe it and then do it so we're looking at three right one large and three small ones okay so let's assume that this is a large one okay um see it always has a um, thick walls now this this is based on what you see all right we couldn't see the side the design them. we drew other cells there but let's assume that you're able to see this special element okay it is a large one and they said we have three adjacent adjacent smaller ones they say each vest each xylem vessel okay element must touch at least two so see what they wanted so there are two small ones here uh three three smaller ones and one big one okay so these are the walls or the vessel element okay following the instruction you can see see another one yeah so you have to add the walls okay so we're following the instruction to give us now you're going to be drawing this based on what you're seeing okay and then we have another one here but i said they should touch each look at this the instruction each xylem vessel element must touch at least two other xylem vessel elements okay at least two other xylem vessel elements 
so let's assume okay of course uh, we have another one here yeah somewhere here mm, yeah so you see so that's perfect okay but you must observe this very well okay so this answers that question so one large so one large xylem vessel element and three this is one large three smaller xylem vessel element but this thing you're going to be drawing it from the from the spaceman okay each um xylem vessel element must touch at least two other xylem vessel element so each one this one touch at least okay this one touches three this one touches two this one touches three one two three one two okay all right guys so it must be large and they said you should use one rule line level to identify the lumen of xylem vessel element if you're drawing the lumen okay just draw it this is lumen okay that's lumen in and right lumen okay lumen lumen that's lumen l u w m e n lumen okay that's it guys let's look at what the mask says it says maximum size all lines sharp it must be sharp and continuous no shading one large and three small xylem vessel element and each xylem vessel element touch at least two other vessel element two lines around each vessel element and three lines where xylem vessel element touch anywhere they touch three lines showing the boundary correct shape of xylem um, xylem vessel elements based on what you see the label line and label to the lumen of one xylem vessel element okay that's five marks you have to follow all these rules to get five marks don't worry we're going to do more of this this is fig 2.1 is a photomicrograph of a stained transverse section of different leaf the different leaf guys this is amazing look at this leaf what do you see about this leaf this leaf is also folded okay for the leaf but it has a sunken stomata which helps to reduce water loss by trans by transpiration all right sunken stomata present sunken stomata can you see it has a lot of vascular this is vascular bundle vascular bundle this is xylem vascular vascular bundle all right a lot of vascular bundles guys look at it vascular bundles all right a lot and of course it has trichomes so if i told you to differentiate between it and the first one uh, um you can choose some some layers that have distinct features for example look at it, it has two layers of um um look at it two layers of um, of epidermis okay thick epidermis all right yes thick epidermis epidermal layer okay it has more trichomes it has many um more vascular bundles okay you can see that all right yeah so that's mostly like what they're gonna ask you to say so check tick okay i think it has what's it got to but the other one has ticker what's got to okay then it but it has ticker epidemics it has hypodemics right so it's also this also is a fact okay uh, let's look at what it says identify three observable differences other than color between the leaf section in fig 2.2 and the leaf section on j1 record these three observable features so guys um between that one and this one okay observable features of course this one has the epidemies has bigger cells that one has two layer cells okay and of course this has only one can you see one vascular bundle that one has many okay all right if you check this one you can also see that it has thicker wax cortical this thicker was on on top of the side the epidemics okay compared to the other one the other one has more trichomes than this okay all right these are the things that you can use to differentiate them is that okay so let's look at what it so you see this is how we draw the table feature fig 2.2 j1 
you just use comparative words look at it guys see what it's supposed to say hmm? only only observable differences for example future here number of vascular bundles that fig 2.21 has many vascular bundles as few just comparative words number of air spaces this has few this has many shape curved this one is a bit straight okay cortical thin thick the number of vascular bundles all right wasn't mentioned this has many okay we mentioned yeah then of, of course can mention number of trichomes this has more trichomes okay than this all right epidemies this has bigger cells while this has two layers okay four marks so something distinct all right so um the next question says the leaf section shown in fig 2.1 is from a xerophytic plant which grew in sand dunes where there's very little water state two observable features of the leaf section shown in fig 2. Point, which help plants to survive in dry conditions of course we said that it has trichomes trichomes trap um moist air creating humid air which lowers um water potential gradient or diffusion gradient okay and of course you can see that it has some constant matter which also traps water all right um lowering water potential gradient and also it has um, um you can see the see trichomes traps water vapor inside the leaf cord is also called increasing humidity to reduce water potential gradient some constant matter as like i showed you exposed to the humid atmosphere with low water potential now you see this some constant matter called leaf and trichomes they help to reduce transpiration in the same way the same method they all trap they all allow accumulation of water vapor which creates humid air and once humid air is created the water potential gradient between the environment and the inside of the leaf decreases okay now you also have thick cortical and that reduces water loss by transpiration please master this okay each of them all right now that's two marks it's a fig 2.1 is the same photomicrograph as shown in fig 2.1 so most times they will ask you to calculate the actual size guys now this is scale bar if you're using a scale bar look at the scale bar mm -hmm. um yes they say calculate the actual the actual size of the structure x mm -hmm. so remember that using a scale bar um you have to know that if you're using a scale bar the magnification first of all calculate magnification is equal to magnification is equal to what is equal to um length of scale bar over value of scale bar that is this is length of scale bar so you measure this length of scale bar mm -hmm. so divide it by 430 that gives you magnification all right so let's assume if you measure this now um with with um ruler let's see if it gives us 2 cm all right convert to cm to micrometers that will be 20,000 micrometers let's assume okay okay 20,000 and they want to get the magnification um you see you divide it by value of on that which is 430 430 micrometers but don't forget that also that that remember they were looking for actual length that actual length once you get magnification right you use it to calculate the actual length okay so once you get magnification you use it to calculate the actual length so i want you to calculate this um what do you have there bring out your calculator um i wanted to do but you see we're not using the actual font size right yes so just divide this this divided by this whatever you get okay whatever you get let's call it x okay whatever you get we call it let's call it y all right so that is your magnification let's assume that that is your magnification your magnification is y whatever you get from there 
okay so it's time to calculate the actual size remember that actual size all right is image over magnification so how do you calculate how do you image use your ruler and measure the diagram this if you measure from here to here let's assume that you measure this and then you have like one cm cube one sorry, one one centimeter so if our actual is one cm one centimeter guys mm -hmm. so converting it to micrometer will be what multiply by ten thousand so that will be ten thousand so you see that actual will be equal to what image which is ten thousand right micrometers all over magnification so magnification is our y okay which is whatever we divided there whatever we got by dividing the other um by dividing this with this do you get so but we'll call it y so whatever you get there divided by y okay so so and that gives you actual please you know first of all use the scale bar to get magnification length of scale bar measure the scale bar divide it by value of scale bar so length of scale bar 2 cm divided by the value 430 that gives us a magnification then remember there is a formula that says actual size because we're looking for actual size is also image of magnification so this is image we measure here that's like 1 cm converted to micrometers multiplied by 10 gives us 10 10,000 and then divide by magnification that gives you this okay all right look at what i said here so use the scale bar to calculate the actual length of structure x that's exactly what we did show your working and use appropriate units actual length that's what we're looking look at what the answer says okay it says correct measurement of scale bar so you measure the scale bar structure x you have to measure two of them show length of scale bar divided by 430 so length of scale bar divided by 430 gives you magnification show length of structure x divided by the answer which is magnification here in this point and the unit is micrometers okay so that's four marks guys so thank you we're going to continue solving more questions bringing it to you all right but that's how to do the calculation all right so stay tuned share the video make comment invite your friends remember this is shadro bye